Do you own or rent your home? Sure you do. And I'll bet it can be hard work. You know what's easy? Bundling policies with GEICO. GEICO makes it easy to bundle your homeowner's or renter's insurance along with your auto policy. It's a good thing, too, because you already have so much to do around your home. Go to GEICO.com, get a quote, and see how much you could save. It's GEICO easy. Visit GEICO.com today. That's GEICO.com. Americans aren't making it, Hal. What do you mean we're not making it? We're not making it. Americans make it. Well, we we gut up. We make it. I believe this number. Okay. 40% of U.S. households are in serious financial trouble right mm-hmm. now. I believe that. I, I, they just struggling to afford medical care and food. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you're seeing things. I mean, food's up 59%. It the is way, unbelievable. If, you, if you're under, if you make less than $50,000 a year. Mm-hmm. The the number of families that are struggling is at like is like sixty percent. That's what's going on in America today. Wow! And now, what age group is that? Well, it can be any age group. It's it's all based on income level. So if you're under fifty grand a year, mm-hmm. you're in trouble. You're 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 in trouble. Yeah, thirty percent of American households said they lost their savings during the coronavirus. During that pandemic, Gee, and you th- well, you think about it. I mean, you had you had furloughs, you had events, you had things canceled. The gig industry went away. Mm-hmm. Yes, it did. You know, the restaurant industry went away in many places. Still away in many. Yes. Places. Oh, sidebar. Yeah. Uh, went into Panera Bread uh-huh. yesterday. You're going to have some uh, uh, dinner with Ann and Quiche. and. <laughs> And Har- I've lost my train. And Harper. <laughs> yeah. About 5 o'clock yesterday. Yeah. Panera Bread there by Ridgemar Mall. Right. Pulled in, got to the door, closed. No staff. Staffing issues. Staffing Is, issues. Isn't that amazing? I mean, it's it, it's, it's, a fa- it's it's just a fact that we're dealing with. Yeah. Households yeah. with children in kindergarten through high school, 69% said that their children had fallen behind because of the pandemic. I mean... It, is this going to come back? Well, that's a great question. Is this has the world changed? Well, uh, Joe Biden, you said uh, said the world's changed. Joe Biden's got this build back better plan. No, no, no. That's that's I, aimed at Trump. <laughs> well, that's a Trump deal. Yeah, but I mean, right now you you you've got sixty percent of households under fifty thousand dollars say that they're in serious financial trouble. And oh, by the way, how do you see things changing anytime soon? Do you see prices coming down? No. Gasoline's five dollars a gallon in parts of the country. Three here now. Yes. Almost almost. Five dollars a gallon. That's not getting any better. Well, back in January, it was uh uh two dollars a gallon. Right. And I'm round I rounded up. Yes. From a dollar ninety something. Right. I mean look at the look at the cost of beef, you know? Look at look at the cost of everything in the grocery store. And is this all because of the pandemic? Well, supply is, chain, pandemic, I yeah, think it has a, lot, a okay. lot to do with it. Yeah. Sean told us yesterday, Hal. Yes. That squeeze cheese is up a dollar twenty nine <laughs> in the last six months. <laughs> squeeze. I've got my squeeze yes. cheese. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Traffic time. What's Here's the name money. of that squeeze? What is what the is, name? Uh, uh, Wait a minute. What's uh, it? Hold on. What is Monty, it called, Bonnie? Wait, the, are you talking about the uh, canned Yes. Uh, yes well, oh, it's it's uh, a cheese squeeze that you put uh, on a cracker. What easy is it? Cheese. Easy cheese. No, that's not what I was thinking. No, no, no. Sean cheese. says no. What, what's, it's not easy cheese? What is it? Cheese, cheese whiz. Whiz. Oh, cheese whiz. Yeah. Oh, that's what he was talking about. That cheese oh, whiz. Out, I didn't think that squeezed out. Yeah, well, it does. No, it's okay. in like a ketchup bottle. That's what he uses <laughs> on his salad, and he yeah. set it up. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, traffic. I keep that in my glove compartment. Yeah, I don't blame you. Here's yeah. money. 635 northbound Bruton Road, left lane blocked off. Then southbound, the two left lanes are blocked. Obviously, both sides pretty heavy there. 635 westbound at I-35E, the ramp to go southbound still blocked off. I-35E northbound at Royal Lane, it looks like that one blocking the exit ramp. With WBAP First Traffic on the Ones, I'm Monty Cook. Brought to you by Balance of Nature. Balance of Nature. Get your daily recommended whole fruits and vegetables by calling 1-800-246-8751. Or go to balanceofnature.com and get free shipping and 35% off your first order by using discount code DALLAS. That's discount code DALLAS. 
Barton in the WBAP Weather Center. It's a pleasant morning. The rain has ended. Uh, some folks got a lot more, but uh, the airport got about 8,500 overnight. And the rain is moving out to the east now. We're going to be cloudy and damp this morning, but uh, the streets are already starting to dry out. Clearing this afternoon with a high of 82. Light south winds, low tonight 67. Then windy and cooler tomorrow. The first real Canadian cold front of fall. 76 for the high tomorrow. Lows will be in the 40s tomorrow night, Saturday morning. Will be 73 on Saturday, 75 Sunday, 76 on Monday. Right now, WBAP 68 degrees.